Bust it. Hello and thanks for staying with us. Welcome to Political Platform. My name is Amechi Anakwe. It's a beautiful um, Wednesday morning, midweek edition uh, in Nigeria's capital across the states of the Federation in Lagos. Uh, the situation is becoming interesting. What's cooking in Lagos, you may ask? Well, it's all about the fate of the incumbent governor, Akin Umiyan Bode. Uh, for some time now, there have, have been rumors that all is not well with him, all is not well between him and uh, his godfather, uh, the leader of the APC in Nigeria and in Lagos State, uh, Ashwa Jubola Med Tinubu. Uh, there were reports that Ralph Arebeshola, a very close associate of Tinubu, who is also the governor of Oshun State, is uh, spearheading moves uh, to have Ambode replaced during this 2019 governorship election. And we told you yesterday on this program the fact that Ambode uh, picked his uh, APC governorship nomination form on the last day uh, that the party provided, the window that he provided, uh, speaks volumes about whether he was uh, struggling to see uh, from with emissaries he sent to the uh, Bolatinobu to see whether he can have a change of mind. He ended up picking the nomination form here in Abuja, but we also told you yesterday on this program uh, two other persons uh, picked uh, governorship nomination forms uh, uh, of APC governorship in Lagos. Talking of uh, Dr. Bafemi Hamzat, some say he's a very close associate uh, of uh, the former governor of Lagos, Lagos State, Babatunde Fashola. He was a commissioner under Fashola, and one of the uh, persons Fashola would have wished uh, succeeded him as governor. Now, what we are hearing is that the Abuja boys, you know, in Lagos and in the Southwest, there's what they call the Abuja boys. Uh, the APC members, uh, not in the camp of Bola Tinubu, uh, those that have come to Abuja to carve a niche for themselves, that the Abuja boys may be behind uh, uh, Obafemi Hamza. Now, the Abuja boys is led by Babatunde Fashola, uh, the uh, governor elect of uh, Ekiti State. Uh, Kayode Fayemi is also said to be one of the Abuja boys, same way with the governor of Ondo State, uh, Rotimi Akredo, that they are the Abuja boys trying to dismantle and moderate the influence of Bola Tinubu in Lagos. Then uh, there is the Bola Tinubu angle, the third man that picked the ticket, uh, Babajide Sanyolu. Uh, he is a close associate of uh, Bola Tinubu, uh, the managing director of Lagos State Property Development Corporation, the fact that 20 local government chairmen in Lagos State and chairman of the 37 LCDAs uh, in Lagos State all part of what is referred to as the mandate group. The mandate group is the Tinubu group signed uh, his nomination form and were present uh, when uh, he went to purchase that form. Now, where does it leave Ambode? That's the big question. It brings to light and throws to the fore uh, the dominance of uh, uh, some individuals in states of the federation, if you talk about Delta State, uh, you think of James Ibori, who is a, totally in charge. Uh, they say even when he was in prison, he would determine not just who will become the governor of Delta State, but even commissioners and local government chairmen must uh, get uh, the approval before they can come into office. Then, to an extent, you talk about uh, Bukola Soraki in Puara State, uh, since he had tweeted his father and took over uh, the father's political machinery. He has been uh, greatly involved uh, in uh, Kwara State, where Abdul Fattah Ahmed, his protege, is uh, almost completing his two-term governor. Now, back to Lagos State. Uh, Tinubu is one that would control all the structures uh, from deputy, from governorship to deputy governorship, all commissioners, uh, members of the State House of Assembly, uh, local government chairmen, even councillors. They say uh, you must get the support of Tinubu before uh, you get into office. And that explains why uh, Tinubu is in a control, complete control in Lagos. And any serving governor dare not oppose him. There are also uh, rumors that uh, Ambode may be impeached if he dares to return the nomination form or if he 
We even think of uh, jumping ships, defecting from the APC to look elsewhere uh, for a platform to contest. So we have a situation in Lagos where uh, you, uh, just as we know in political science, three stages of, of uh, acquisition of state power, if you want to get involved with politics, first you acquire state power, uh, Tinubu will help you to acquire state power. Then you consolidate. You will not consolidate. He will consolidate. Consolidation means appointing your men into key positions. Just as uh, when a president uh, is uh, sworn in, he appoints the SGF, uh, chief of army staff, heads of security agencies, heads of service, name the ministers. It's all part of the process of consolidation. But as a governor, Fashola, for instance, uh, never consolidated. And it's obvious that uh, Ambode did not consolidate. And the third aspect is use of state power. Now, you use it to a limited extent. Uh, you can't just do uh, use the powers uh, the way you like. For instance, we were told that uh, the move by uh, the Lagos State Governor Ambode to uh, restructure the waste and management system in Lagos is one of the reasons why the Tinubu camp is not uh, happy with him, that he dismantled the structure uh, set up by Tinubu. So uh, you, you, governors that are brought in by their godfathers uh, will really not use state power. So it is a dicey situation for Ambode. What are his options? Uh, we'll be linking uh, a barrister uh, in Lagos, one who has been following political development in not just the southwest but across Nigeria for decades, uh, Wale Ogwade to, of course, uh, uh, help us with analysis. But before then, uh, let's uh, give you hints of what happened in Abuja yesterday. The president received his nomination form from uh, the group that purchased it for him free $45 million, and the president said uh, he is uh, on a mission to consolidate on the good work he started more than three years ago in 2015. And he has some words for uh, the campaigns from the APC. He described them as weak and selfish. Now, it has elicited a lot of reaction from people. They said uh, when they initially defected to the APC, uh, the president saw them as brave and strong. Now they are leaving. He's saying they are weak. Anyway, politics is up all about interest. Interest in the campaign from one party to the other. And, uh, interest in de trying to define and conceptualize the reasons behind uh, their uh, defection. Then another interesting development here in Abuja on Tuesday. Yakubu Dogara, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, picked a nomination form to contest again uh, for his constituency in Bauchi State. He has spent almost 12 years in the parliament and he says he wants to come back. He was thinking of stepping aside, but uh, going by some developments, some people were talking about retiring him from politics and he wants to prove a point to them that he can only retire at his own volition and will not be forced to retire. But one outstanding and significant thing was that uh, he did not mention the party he bought the ticket from. Is he a PC or PDP? I saw posters of his supporters. There were so many of them that drove him from Bauchi into Abuja. Uh, they had uh, uh, posters of the speaker, but there was no party logo, no party name, and no party color. But from what we have observed, it's, uh, it appears uh, Yakubu Dogara has settled for the PDP. He may have very strong indication from the, uh, the sources we are getting, the information that are telling us he had picked the PDP nomination form. So, uh, by implication, he has defected the uh, National Assembly effectively in control, both chambers uh, of the main opposition PDP. Very historic. We'll take a break to accommodate your mails. Uh, we always appreciate your mails on this program. Uh, please keep them coming. After the mails, we'll come back with more news, more analysis, and we'll also bring in our guests. Please don't get away. Hello and welcome to the mail segment. I am a Saitin Yari. I am a Tenikang Akipo. You're welcome. We begin with reactions. A nephew Kuntia in Sangwata, Lagos State says, Good morning, crew members. I must commend you for the enlightenment this platform is bringing to the masses. Yesterday, I watched President Buhari receive nomination form from the group he claimed bought the form for him at about 45 million naira. And I ask myself and others, where is the integrity of our president? Where is the fight against corruption? Where is the place for the youths in Nigerian politics? The whole thing is not only dramatic, but surprises many Nigerians to see a president who claims to be fighting corruption receiving a form of 45 million without seeing anything wrong with the high cost of it. The president who signed the not too young to run bill but encourages high cost of nomination forms is only telling us that he's far from reality. 
Therefore, it is high time our leaders moved from politics of paper and deception and mere words to reality. And Ahmed Shiobochi in Kubwa Abuja writes on President Buhari and his chances in 2019. He says, HSBC, perhaps the world's biggest bank, has warned that a second term for Buhari will damage Nigeria's economy further. A very good warning from those who know what it takes to build a good economy. What then is Buhari and his lieutenants doing? Anyway, I know that that name calling and bad blood will in no distance time be released by the managers of Buhari. We will find it very difficult to swallow this hook, line and sinker. Apart from HSBC, some of us here have realized that Nigeria is not moving forward as being showcased by some, as our economy, our currency, our unity and reputation have all been negatively touched in the last three years. I therefore urge Buhari to take these as a good advice and chart a new course for Nigeria so that their predictions would not come to pass. That's it on the mail segment. Continue to write to us through political platform at repower.fm. Thank you so much uh, for uh, staying with us there. Uh, our listener, Mekamba, talked about uh, the statements uh, released uh, by the President's uh, Senior Special Assistant on National Assembly, Tainang, saying that he has scrutinized uh, the amended uh, Electoral Act as passed by the National Assembly sent to the President for his assent, and that he did not see in any way where the issue of the cat reader uh, strengthening the cat reader, making it the so and only means of accrediting voters uh, in that upcoming election. That is not contained there. So uh, there's a lacuna here, what uh, some lawyers will call gaps uh, are within the laws. Some uh, gray areas, some uh, clouded, some clouds covering the issue. Like he asked our uh, listener, Mekamba, who's saying, the, who's telling the truth? Maybe we have to go in search of the Electoral Act as passed by the National Assembly, the one the clerk uh, dispatched to the uh, presidency. Could it be that uh, there was nothing like that contained? These are the questions, but we are doing our, our investigations. Uh, when we are done, we'll just uh, bring up every uh, everything we have connected uh, to you. Femi Otedola, a business man uh, from Lagos State, a uh, man whose father was a governor of uh, Lagos State in the past during the aborted at the Republic, it is rumored, uh, has accepted the invitation of the People's Democratic Party PDP in Lagos State to become a uh, East candidate, a governorship candidate in the forthcoming election. Very interesting. These are all rumors. Even these rumors about and speculations about the fate of um, Sanyolu, uh, Ambode, and Tinubu, no confirmation yet, but from the body language and from facts on ground, a lot of people are making conjectures uh, and pushing everything to the fore. Uh, what are the options uh, before uh, Akimumi and Bode? Should he swallow uh, the humble pie and serve only one term? Or should he want to go down fighting, uh, contest the APC uh, governorship uh, nomination in Lagos State, or jump to another party? These are some of the options. My colleague Adebay Abodri uh, is joining us. Thank you so much. Yeah, Mishi, um, what, the, what is playing out in Lagos is really, really very, very, very interesting. Really very interesting because uh, if we recall uh, in 2011, a similar scenario play out between uh, uh, current Minister of Works, who was then the governor, uh, but at the end of it all, there were even there were speculation. Why speculations then that he may likely be contest on the on the ticket of uh, I'm under the platform of uh, PDP then, but I think one way or the other, the differences were were resolved. And he, he, he sought for second term, and he actually he won the race. Some people are pointing towards that as a possible scenario that Tinubu has a way of uh, playing a game of brinksmanship. He will threaten to pull the rug off your feet. Then, uh, yes. when um, emissaries will come and beg, he will now say, okay, let me allow him further, uh, drawing you closer, making sure that you don't go off or away. From his dictates, that is part of this. I, I think the, the trend that is happening now is that you have what we call the justice group, mm -hmm. interestingly being led by uh, those who refer to Abuja boys, mm -hmm. although they are Abuja big boys. Then the uh, mandate group, then the, the mandate Tinubu group. group. The ma so the, the justice group versus the, the mandate, uh, mandate group. group. The, the mandate group is uh, the one that is uh, the, that uh, 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 Sanyaulu, I mean, Sanwulu San, San Ola, uh, Babajide seems to belong to. And uh, Ambo, they also supposed to belong to that group. And then you have the justice group, uh, 
um, Kushav Obafe Miamsat, uh, a loyalist of uh, the Minister of Works. And so the scenario is playing out. And um, uh, Banire. Yeah, and we see how the whole thing uh, we have. Uh, Nus Banire is on his standing on his own. Uh, it's neither with. Uh, it's not with Bashola nor with uh, with Inubu. So a lot of things are playing out that we seem to know. But one thing is clear: the APC uh, leadership came out yesterday that uh, they define what a consensus candidate who will be defined as a who can be uh, pronounced as a con consensus candidate. Uh, Yekini uh, Nabami, the, the the publicity secretary, issued a statement and said that. In states like uh, Sanfara, Ogun, Yobe, and Nimo, where they have already pronounced uh, consensus governorship candidates, that it will not be so if it, they can only be claimed to be consensus candidates if there are no other, if, if no other, in, no person uh, purchased the nomination form. And that in a situation where there are, where two or three people have purchased the nomination form, like you have in uh, Imo State, for instance, there will still be primary. And so, Whoever has been pronounced as consensus candidate, is pronounced as consensus candidate by the group that pronounced him as consensus candidate and will not be recognized by, by the leadership of the party. And I think this is an interesting thing that is playing out. Um, it does seem as if uh, uh, polarization, division will definitely be witnessed when the, primary act when the actual primary uh, uh, take place across the country, either for the legislative seats or for the governorship seats. That, that seems to be the trend that is okay. that is currently playing out across the country, particularly within APC. Okay, let's uh, bring in an uh, analyst from Lagos State, uh, Barisa Wale Oguade. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, my brother. How are you? Uh, we are good. We believe uh, you've been following uh, uh, the situation uh, in Lagos State. How, how will you re react to that? Please, can you give me the question again? Yeah, how, how will you react to the developments within the APC in Lagos State, the fate of oh. Akin Wumi Ambode? Oh, great development. Great development. Uh, Adiba Obadu recaptured it initially when he described this, what is going on, the replay of what happened in 2011 between uh, Bola Kinubu and uh, Bashola Dead. And of course, it's going up there. Well, nobody will, be, uh, will, will, will remove the fact that Bola Ahmed Tinubu is the godfather of Lagos politics, and even by extension, the godfather of the Southwest politics. Uh, the man has a structure, and all those who have used the structure, definitely they must, they must move along his, uh, his line. There is nothing that I mean, politics is built on structure, particularly in Nigeria. And for me, I live in Lagos, although I move around Nigeria, and I know that at least I can see two or three things. That has really done that the that Akimumi Ambody has done that did not go down well with the people. The one is the demolition the PSP structure on ground. In fact, I'm talking to you now, I'm driving past the, 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 the trucks that are parked in uh, Surah, this is Surah. They are, they, are, they are parked there, they are supposed to be out there working. And of course, you can imagine the hundreds of people that have been put off the road, uh, work as a result of that disengagement. And of course, the whole, you know, Lagos is now dirty. The issue of uh, uh, the working and all that uh, is not moving. So I want to believe is, that. Is it that these actions that, did not go down well with the people or with Tinubu? You say what? Is it that these two actions you talked about that Ambode took did not go down well with the people or did it not go down well with Tinubu? Please, can you repeat the question again? Now, I asked, you said earlier that there were two actions uh, Ambode took that appear not to have gone down well with the people. And I wanted a clarification. Is it that it did not go down well with the people or with Bola Tinubu? Well, unfortunately, the people, as far as I'm concerned, they, uh, are insignificant when it comes to this issue in Nigerian politics. You should know that those who are supposed to vote don't vote. They, it is those who have the structure, it is the political structure. Okay, let me give you an example. There are 6 million people who are registered as voters in Lagos, or more than 6 million. Less than 1 million votes. So, who are those who control the less than 1 million? It's the political structure. So, don't let us take it away from that. They will, uh, elections are built on structure. Ambode was not known before he became the governor. He used this Bolan Tinubu structure. And for your information, too, Buhari, too, had those structures before. Uh, 
Or you could say Buhari had limited structure, maybe in the northwest and the northeast. Hello, hello, Wale. Oh, it seems to have, uh, uh, we'll seems to have lost him. The like, someone would say what uh, was the president was that, had some structure, what but he, not what, in national Yeah, structure. what he was saying was that uh, Ambodi did not have structure until he became governor. Well, but if you knew, I mean, if you, if, if you are familiar with how Ambodi emerged as uh, the governorship candidate of APC in Lagos, you will know that it's a fallout of the rift between him and... Uh, and uh, uh, Babatuni Raji Fashola, who was then the governor of Lagos State. Uh, um, Hambody was chief accountant of Lagos State during the period of, uh, of uh, Tinubu. And somewhere along the line, uh, he, was, he was about to be kicked out, which uh, Tinubu did not like. And he said, okay, go and resign. The man who wants to kick you out, you will, you will be surprised that you will replace him. And actually, Hambody replaced Fashola. And uh, some said at the height of uh, the political conflict between Fashola and, uh, and uh, Tinubu, uh, it was uh, Ambode that was encouraging the leaks uh, from the uh, accounts and operations of the Lagos State Government. For instance, uh, the, what people ref refer to as scandalous amounts spent on building a website and boho by Fashola, just when uh, the president was trying to uh, put up his cabinet, and some people felt it was a move from the Tinubu camp to indeed uh, prevent that by releasing that. Now, uh, he's at the receiving end after having helped to also uh, give it to someone. Uh, Wale Oguade is back on the line. Yes. Yes. So well, you, co you continue with your perceptions. So what are the options uh, before Ambody now? Well, uh, the, the option is that we just go and see how we can mend it way. That's what uh, uh, Fashola did. Because I can assure you that I don't think he can go to any other political party. They will just use him and dump him. We, we election, Lagos State is too sophisticated for any party to come up. You see what has been happening to PDP. I don't know who PDP will use that you can obtain Tinubu in Lagos State. I don't know. And that, that does lead me to this question. Is, 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 Lagos, is, is Lagos not too sophisticated to be controlled politically? By, by, one an man, individual, by an individual. By one man. Is, uh, should Lagos not be too that, sophisticated that, for uh, that? This is, not the, this, is not the, this is not the issue of sophistication. It's about what is on ground. That's why maybe we will step up this game of informing people and doing more of voter education, more of sensitization, more of creating awareness that no, one man cannot control. That is where it comes in. Maybe God wants to use this opportunity now to break that tie. But as far as the, I'm talking of the present, mm. I'm not talking of the future. Okay, now as far I, as Lagos politics is concerned, now Tinubu is in control. Now Femi Otedola is being brought into the picture. There are reports mm. that PDP has offered him uh, their ticket. No confirmation mm. yet. But what does it mean to you? Uh, to me, Otedola is just coming from nowhere. The, the PDP has no structure to upstage uh, Tinubu. If PDP, if Otedola is contesting under APC or on, uh, with a party allied with Tinumbu, okay. But you want to go against Tinumbu, accept any a miracle happens. I don't see it. Otedola uh, you don't rule party. miracles in politics and elections. I, I know, I know. I don't. Uh, you don't worry. Definitely, by the grace of God, by 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 in the next two months, you please give me a call, and we can now discuss it further and say, yeah. Miracle or no miracle. But are, 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 you, are you not familiar with what happened in the aborted law republic? That against all predictions... I, I know, I know about his father. I know, I know, I know. There is no doubt, not anything can happen. But I'm just talking about today. I've already stated that. That <laughs> about today, the structure on ground with PDP cannot move or settle into, into Alausa except a miracle happen. So, some are, maybe, alignments, some realignments which are not ruled out in politics... They strike those well, that way. Can anything can happen, but you can be sure that Akimu Miambodi will not go down just like that. He too will use anything in the Bible. We call it sin for sin in the book of uh, Proverbs. So his only he option is everything. to go, like we say in local parlance, continue to Dobale before Tinubu. If that's what, if, the, if that's the option that will be, continue to retain him in office, let it be. Okay, uh, maybe like you said, in two months' time, we'll take it off from there. Thank you so much, uh, Wale Ogunade, for your intervention. To God be the, God be the glory. Oh, see, uh, he talked about uh, sophistication, and I asked him, is Lagos not too sophisticated? Uh, he says the only option before um, 
uh, the governor is to continue to beg, send them mysteries, bring his kinsmen, family members, and go and be begging Bolatinamo. Well, um, let's watch out what will happen in the next uh, 48 hours or so, or more than uh, within the next 48 I think mm. the picture will become much, much, much clearer, and we'll be able to know uh, where is somebody. Is he okay. seeking for the ticket? Mm. Will he be allowed to seek for the ticket or not? Okay. Uh, but as at now, mm. like uh, one, one, one columnist of late, mm. uh, Adobe, we used to say, the atmosphere is foggy. Okay. It will uh, become clearer uh, the, in the next 48 hours. The situation, hours. In, there's the jury and de facto. The jury, by law, you are the governor, but in practice, de facto, you're not. That is what is playing out in Lagos State. Let's do it again uh, on Thursday. Uh, my name is Amit Chanak. We're having a nice time. Busted. <laughs>